Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is graphing relationships and interpreting graphs. All right, so don't forget uh, all your lessons can be found at Mr. Math Blog. Let me show you that again, you guys. So if you go to Mr. Math Blog, you'll get to this site. You'll see all kinds of classes here going across. We're in the integrated math one class. So when you guys take algebra or geometry or even calculus, those lessons are here also. So and if you have uh, little kids in third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, I have those. Uh, they're over here. You just can't see it. Anyway, so if we go here, uh, press Integrate a Math, and you'll see all your lessons down here. We'll be down here somewhere. I can't scroll down because this little thing's in the way right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So, uh, all right, so um, uh, this uh, is the distance a delivery van uh, is from a warehouse varies uh, throughout the day. Okay, so this is the distance. Um, so it looks like as distance increases, so I'm guessing the warehouse is down here somewhere. So as you drive, so as we're going away from down here, the distance is increasing. The graph uh, shows the distance from the warehouse for uh, a day from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, so somewhere over here, it starts over here and it ends over here. So it looks like um, uh, he's he's going away. He's going away right here from from the warehouse right here. And it looks like uh, since this is a less of a, of a steepness right here, that um, he's traveling less of a speed. And right here, he doesn't look like, you know, the distance away from down here is the same right here because this is the distance as distance increases. So the distance is the same, so it looks like the van is stopped right here. Then it starts driving away again, then it stops again right here, and so on and so on. So we're going to be answering questions about that. So I'm going to move it up there. All right, so segment one shows that the delivery van moved away from the warehouse throughout uh, the day. What does segment two show? Okay, so segment two shows it's still driving away, but, but probably at a slower play, uh, pace right there. So segment two shows the van is still moving away from the warehouse. Uh, but at a slower speed than segment one because this one's it's going you know the steeper uh, it is it's it's going faster so this one is still driving away but not at the quite the speed right here okay so that makes sense it's not as steep so based on the time frame what change in the distance from the warehouse re is represented by segment six okay so right here look at uh, it looks like uh, it's starting to come back towards the warehouse so the distance to the warehouse is uh, is going to becoming less so segment six uh, shows that the the van begins to return to the warehouse so it's heading back in the opposite direction which line segments show the interval where the distance did not change okay well right here looks like the distance hasn't changed uh, at um, uh, line interval three five and then also seven right there okay so three five and seven what is the possible explanation for these segments right here? Well, if it's a delivery van, I don't know. I'm guessing that they stopped uh, to deliver packages or flowers or whatever. So the van wasn't moving there. So maybe they were delivering packages inside of buildings during that time period right here. Because here, here's the time going by right here. So, so the time here is earlier in the day from here to here. So the, the van stayed still right there and again right there and again right there so they're probably delivering packages or whatever getting lunch or something okay alright so explain how the slope of each line segment of the graph is related to whether the truck is is uh, not moving is moving away from or is moving towards the warehouse so I, I said something like this uh, when the slope is positive when it's rising so like these guys right here one two four uh, one, two, and four. When it's rising, the truck is moving away from the warehouse. W H is warehouse. When the slope is negative, so when the slope is negative, like uh, six, eight, and nine, uh, the truck is moving back towards the warehouse. And when the slope is zero, at uh, three, five, and seven, right here, the truck is not moving. So that's how you'd explain that. All right. So here we're going to do some more. So three. Hoses uh, fill three different water barrels. A green hose fair, uh, fills a water barrel at a constant rate. A black hose uh, is slowly opened, so it's like you're turning on the faucet when filling the barrel. And then a blue hose is completely open at the beginning and then slowly closes. Okay, so the three graphs below uh, explain these situations. So it looks like on this one right here, it looks like it, it got slowly turned on and then all of a sudden somebody really started opening up that nozzle right there. So this would explain um, the one that got slowly turned on. This one's uh, going climbing at a steady rate. So this one's the one that's opening at a steady rate right here. And this one here 
here looks like it got you know blasted open at the beginning and they started turning it off right about there so it leveled out right there okay so which graph best represents the amount of water in a barrel that's filled by the green hose okay so the green hose is this one uh, the water barrel is going in at a constant rate that would be this one right here uh, uh, graph B. So since the flow is constant, the amount of water in a barrel should be at a steady increase. So B gives us the best one on that. Okay, I'm just moving it up to get some space. So describe the water level for graph A. Okay, so what I said is is right here, the water level for A begins slowly and then increases really fast towards, uh, uh, towards the end right here. How about C? Well, this one started really fast and then it started shutting off towards the end. So the water level for C increased rapidly in the beginning and then slow and then slow down over time okay just moving it up again you guys so graph a represents uh, which hose well graph a represents um, uh, the black hose the one that started opening slowly and then it opened up faster towards the end and then graph C represented the one um, uh, the blue hose that was opened up uh, all the way at the beginning and started slowly closing right there okay so could a graph uh, uh, of the amount of water in the water barrel be slanted downwards from left to right? Yeah, if the if the barrel was full of water in the beginning and then it started to begin to be drained, so if you opened up a hole at the bottom and it started going down, it would start sloping down. Okay, here's some more graphs. You and a friend are playing catch. You throw three different balls to your friend. You throw the first ball at an arc uh, and your friend catches it. Uh, you throw the second ball uh, at an arc, but this time the ball gets stuck in a tree. Okay, and so which one do you think is getting stuck in a tree? I'm guessing this one right here, okay? You throw a third ball directly at your friend, but it lands in front of your friend and then rolls away on the, uh, rolls the rest of the way on the ground. So it looks like this one. This is the one that he throws, and his friend's over here, and you can see it's kind of rolling, rolling, rolling. This one right here is probably that first one. You throw it, and then your friend catches it right here because this is the height of the ball. So if the kid's a five feet tall, then it catches it right there at five feet right there. Okay, so the three graphs of those situations are below right there. So which graph represents the situation where the ball gets stuck in a tree? That'd be this one right here. It's stuck way up here in the height of the tree right there. Okay, so graph C, the ball should increase uh, in height and then stay at a certain height uh, in the tree in the time. So it's stuck in that tree for that time period. Here's the time in seconds down here. All right, so describe the ball that represented by the other two graphs. Okay, so this one's the one that it, where the ball dropped in front of him and it rolled and rolled and rolled. This one's the one where he threw it up at an arc and he caught it. His, his buddy caught it right there. So graph A shows the ball thrown from a certain height with the height decreasing until it hits the ground and keeps rolling. Graph B shows the ball thrown from a certain height with the height increasing and increasing, then decreasing in an arc until it is caught uh, by his partner at a certain height. All right, if you guys are in my class, I would assign you guys that homework right there. And if you guys could, would you guys click like for me? That would encourage me to keep doing this. Take care, you guys.